here is a case of using a both 60 watts ohmium and tfl in a large volume stone during rirs in the inferior calyx nearly 24 mm and 6.3 by 10 mm altogether makes around 3.5 centimeters high volume stone present in the lower end part of the middle calyx in this case pcnl is the ideal treatment but we tried rirs with both 60 watts luminous laser with so called uh, luminous laser 60 watts uh, Moses effect, so called Moses effect. In the Moses effect, probably the mechanism is uh, short pulse width and high energy. Here, initially, we used uh, that laser so that it uh, will break the stone into fragments. So, making powder in a deep inferior calyx is a problem. So, here this laser with the high power and uh, Moses effect is breaking very fast. With breaking what happens stones can float. So, with this you get space for the flexible scope to enter into the calyx. That's what we wanted to highlight. Whenever there is a stone which is seen through the calyx only partly, if you can break it into pieces, then flexible scope can go into the calyx. That's what exactly happening here. But powdering with this type of Moses effect is difficult. So this is a unusual condition where we wanted to make pieces fast and all the pieces will be there in the inferior calyx only. After the pieces have become around uh, uh, 5 mm see this is a large stone deep inferior calyx hard stone and immediately see how it is with homium laser with this uh, Moses effect it is coming and hitting by itself the, adva the lasing uh, with powdering at this deep inferior calyx with difficulty is very difficult so in so many fragments have formed which is against RIRS but uh, because of the fan sheath Nowadays again, we can, especially in large volume stone, we can make a, a powder with the thulium fiber laser. Definitely uh, both lasers usage is not common. Both lasers maintaining is not common. But I am sharing because of the laser working logistics are different for thulium. And, see now I am using thulium fiber laser which will lift the small stones. Same if I have used for the large stone, it might have only powdered uh, and it, it, the bending of the scope has to be kept at very acute angle and it, the powdering should be done for a long time. Whereas this case, initially the 60 watts uh, homium has done the job of making larger fragments given space to enter into the calyx. Now all these stones uh, are made powder slowly by popcorn effect or fragmentation. That is the point we wanted to share. If it is same stone is in the upper calyx, large volume, still you can powder faster and finish in the same 30 minutes. But if it is in the lower calyx where scope is not able to move freely on the surface of the stone, then better to fragment and all the fragments should be there in the inferior calyx only like in this case. If they get dispersed, into the uh, pelvis or in different calyces, then entire purpose of uh, uh, the RIRS and popcorn will go. For popcorn, essentially all the pieces, all the small pieces must be in the same calyx and if you go nearer to that calyx with the fan's access sheath, uh, uh, tremendous advantage will be there in RIRS because it will be less invasive than PCNL. But large volume stone, inferior calyx, broad base, PCNL is definitely good uh, just because i have done this case with rirs successfully i am sharing the points uh, how homium laser and thulium fiber laser work uh, 
in such conditions differently see secondary stones are there small stones can be even fragmented with thulium fiber laser better than the large stones but large stones fragmentation in pcnl or rirs is slightly inferior with thulium fiber laser is my opinion there are various laser settings in thulium fiber laser we tried all the things but very large stone hard stone breaking into multiple pieces is less with the thulium fiber laser whereas homium uh, because of the short pulse width this moses uh, uh, technology and effect are different terminologies some seniors uh, say that moses uh, there is no technology it is effect because of the short pulse and high energy some say that it intrinsic uh, ability of the mission to do the moses technology um, subject for the debate at the end rgp complete clearance was achieved we see the amount of the powder and volume we sucked out is significantly high so characteristics of both laser i wanted to share in this video otherwise pcnl is the treatment of choice in this case as of today thank you